What are the pillars that you build your life on? And how can we firm up those foundations? Today, we're gonna to talk about those very things. Maestro, let's hit that intro. We are all very different people. We come from different walks of life. We have our own stories. We have different dreams and aspirations, but there is something that binds us all together. At the end of the day, we are all trying to beat the clock. We are all trying to find our way. Hi, my name is Carl, and welcome to SMA. Hi friends, welcome to SMA. Here we discuss the issue, build connections, and inspire the life of those of us who are going through middle age. I'm standing here at these pillars to talk about the pillars of our lives. Pillars are important to us. Pillars are the thing that build us up and ground our lives. They support us through hard times and through storms. They, they come and hit us in our lives. I'm standing here today at the Wellington. It is a bed and breakfast in Traverse City, Michigan. And these pillars were built back in 1905. And this building has withstood many things over the years. And today I want to talk about the things that build us up, that hold us up, that sustain us through time, and how we can emphasize those things and de-emphasize those things that may be holding us back from the important things in our lives. As I've hit middle age, I've really decided that I want to focus on the things that matter most to me. I want to concentrate on those things. I want to build those things up. I want those things to matter more now than they have at any other time in my life. I feel like now that I'm about to turn 48, that I've run out of time to waste. I don't have any time to screw around. I gotta get to the things that matter and really work on those things. So what are the pillars of my life? What are the things that matter most to me? Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about pillar number one first. Pillar number one is my family, as I will show you right here. And yes, that is a picture of us all dressed up in Star Wars garb. We're very nerdy people. And every year for our family picture, we dress up in some sort of nerdy kind of thing and do our pictures and send out our Christmas cards. These guys here, they're the most important things in my life. They are the things that, they're the reason I get up in the morning, they're the reason I go to work, they're the reason that I try to better myself as a man. These are the people who motivate me and make me who I am today. These are the people who I sacrifice for and these are also the people who we really need to be the judges of whether or not I am successful in life or I am unsuccessful. Too often I put other things in front of them and I don't allow them to be the judge of if I'm doing well or not. I have other artificial barriers there and I need not do that. In particular, in this pillar is my wife. People have this phrase, happy wife, happy life, and I don't particularly care for that phrase. It's not one I use in my own life because I feel like it devalues her. I don't want to make my wife happy because my, making my wife unhappy would make my life hard. I want to make my wife happy because she does things that makes me happy and that she deserves me to sacrifice for her and she deserves somebody who cares for her and wants her to have a good life. I've attended here for 20-ish years and I've served as the director of children's ministry for 10 plus years. This is my second pillar because it allows me to connect to something that is bigger than myself, something more important than myself. It allows me to understand morality and how I should treat other people. It is the thing that helps me feel connected to the world in a way that I wouldn't in any other way. Okay, this is work and this is pillar three. Now you may wonder, why work? Why is work pillar number three? Well, that's easy. I spend eight hours a day, five days a week in this place, and I've been doing that for the last 20 years of my life. So it's important that I make every point of my life that I spend time in to be as beneficial as possible. So when I'm here, I want to make this time count as well. Not only do I want to provide for my family, but I also want to provide for, for my employers as well. I want them to know that they are getting good work out of me even though there are other places, of course, I would rather be. I also would say this about work. Work is sometimes where we get our identity. Who are you? I'm a salesman. I'm an engineer. What have you. But 
I don't know that's always necessarily the healthiest way to look at things. I do think that's something I would like to do a video on later. Those are my pillars. So what are yours? What are the things you build your life on? What are the things that you sacrifice for? What are the things that are most important to you? Now you may be sitting there thinking, no, I don't know. I have so many things. How do I identify just a few things that matter the most to me? First, I would say, sit down with a piece of paper and write down those things that you feel are most important to you. Family, um, work, whatever it is, those things are that you spend your time. Okay, so we're gonna write those things down. I sit down with a piece of paper and we're write all these things down that are important to us. Now, if you gotta write down 15 things, that's fine. Let's write them all down. Number two, we're gonna write a complete separate list. And the, on this list, we're gonna write what are the things that we spend our time on? And what are the things we spend our money on? Because if you look at where a person spends their time and where they spend their money, you're gonna see what's most important to them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two lists and put them side by side and we're gonna match up those things and see how they work out. Because what we want is we want the things that are most important to us to be the things that we spend our time and money on. And these two things should match up. And if they don't, now we've got something to, to go work on. Look, it's Jimmy John's! It's freaky fast! I didn't even order anything! How'd they know? If these two things don't match up, then we need to ask ourselves the question, why? And beyond that, we need to ask ourselves the question, what would our lives look like if they did match up? What if the things that were most important to us were the things that we spent the most time and money on? As we get older, it is more and more important that we emphasize those things that are most important to us, that we make those two things match up, that where we spend our time and where we spend our money is where we put our efforts at. So we want those th two things to be together. When there's a disconnect between those two things, that's when there's gonna be issues in our life. When we're, what we want to be spending our time on isn't where we're spending it, there's gonna be stress and there's gonna be uncomfortableness in our lives. And if we can work on these things, I think we're gonna find that we have a happier life. Now, a few videos back, I did a video on PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Adjust. And I'm sure several of you thought that's a weird place to start out a video when dealing with middle age. But I'm gonna keep, continue to come back to that. And today is one of those places where we're gonna come back to that. Because now we wanna make these two lists match and the best way that we can get there is Plan, Do, Check, Adjust. So that's gonna be our challenge for the week. That's your homework. You're gonna make a list of the things that are most important to you. You're going to then make a list of where you spend your time and money. That's gonna be thing number two. And then thing number three is you're gonna come up with a plan to take any one of those things and make them match up together. And you're gonna do a PDCA on that. You're gonna plan, do, check, adjust. After you do these three things, I'd like you to leave me a comment in the blah blah below and let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know if these things are working out for you the way they work out for me. Thank you for stopping by. Please leave a comment in the blah blah below to let me know how I'm doing. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please ring that bell. Come on, where is that coming from? And subscribe below. Next week is gonna be a very special week. Next week, I'm going to tell you how to build a time machine so that you can make more time for yourselves. Until next Tuesday, we'll see you then. Same bat time, same bat channel.